our water line down there. Um, it is kind of leaking and um, it really irritates me because when they came and took the house, instead of just simply unplugging the heat tape from the house, they actually just cut it off. And so now we can't plug in the heat tape. And so um, we've been really, really worried because we've had some really cold weather lately and we're afraid that the water line sticking up out of the ground is going to freeze and um, the little valve in there is like starting to drip. And so we decided we better get something done about that. So here we go, we're opening up our water system. <laughs> There's no hope of any showers or anything if something goes wrong. Tomorrow is Monday, by the way. Oh, nothing's gonna go wrong. I have faith that it's all gonna work. Holy moly. Oh god, is it going to go right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just the pressure built up in the tank yet. Or maybe there's another water shut off somewhere <laughs> that we don't know about. <laughs> We had to fool you guys, you know, add some dramatic, you know, <laughs> no. twists. As soon as I shut know. the shut the camera off, Dylan went ahead and cut it. Got to get those views somehow, right? <laughs> no. I think it's just the pressure in the tank that it still hasn't leaked out yet, and all of it. Hopefully, that's not gonna work. I thought I had this figured out. It's not gonna fit on there. I wonder why that doesn't shut off. It's so weird. Crisis averted. You did it. For now. Until this thing pops off in the middle of the night, no one hears it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to pop then, off. That's really. when the real crisis happens. <laughs> <laughs> you can crimp it too much if it fits all the way in here. But if it doesn't fit in here just so, it's not crimped enough. And so you have to make adjustments in your tool so that way it crimps just right. Uh -uh. Like, I think that's perfect. It fits in between. I'm not a pro, I'm not a plumber, so take this with a grain of salt. It fits in there perfect like that. But if it were to reach the top of here, it would, be, would not work. But if it doesn't fit at all, it needs to be crimped more. That makes sense. Well, it's not leaking. It looks beautiful. I guess the real test would be to go turn the water back on. It would. You better take, you know, step back 30 yards <laughs> and video this and watch that valve travel Mach 2 down that way when it pops off oh. and the water fountain go everywhere. With oh. hope the valve won't actually come off. But that, yeah, I'm sure it won't. If it has to, let's hope that the tree catches it. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, the water's officially on full blast. Nothing's happening. Well, I didn't hear screaming. Nope, nothing happened. And a ball, I didn't see a ball valve enter low Earth orbit. <laughs> nope. Uh, nothing happened, so I guess we're okay. So you got it fixed. Oh. All that worrying and fretting over nothing, you did it. Oh. <laughs> Woo! 
But yeah, we don't know if the electrical tape goes all the way down three feet or whether it just goes down so far. The heat I've, tape. What did I say? The electrical, electrical tape. Oh, yeah, the heat tape. She means me. the heat tape. Yeah, the heat tape. We don't remember putting it on. I don't know if we put it on or the people that we hired put it on. I don't remember any of that. So I guess we'll have to figure that out. Wish us luck. Yeah, I guess we'll have to dig to find out. It's one of those things I just like, ugh. I know. This is the job I have not been looking forward to. But we probably should have fixed that before we moved the house in because it would have been a little easier to dig it out. We should have done it a long time ago, too. Yeah, we should have. But... Is that job that no one wanted to do we just kind of like put off? Yeah. Well, we'll do it next weekend. Yep. Next week came and next week went. Next weekend came, came and next... Came and it went. And then it came and it went. And now it's here and we don't want to do it. Actually, I think it came and went one more time and now it's here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, on closer inspection, we I'm just, no just discovered... I'm pretty sure that's what happens when water freezes in your lines. Yeah. So we, we put, were lucky that we went ahead and got to that when we did. Yeah, we put that off for way too long. We did. So now we got to be sure we get this done. Mm -hmm. We need to wrap it up in heat tape. Yes, time. we do. Is it done? Yes, it's done. Oh, it is. Yeah, we thought we'd come out here <laughs> and get some fresh air. <laughs> yeah, after all the work is done, you guys. You guys <laughs> missed all the stressful parts. You did. Anyway, we are getting ready to dig and dig and dig and dig because we've got to get the get the heat tape put on. We don't know how far down that goes. Okay. And Miley, you better quit hitting me with snowballs. Why? <laughs> I'll chase you with them. <laughs> Maybe since all you guys have the energy, <laughs> I can <really> hit you. <laughs> we can put you guys to work. <laughs> um, Digging. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> so we have our heat tape here, and we have the old one that's there, and they're basically essentially the same kind and everything. And so we're really debating on whether we really wanted to dig it all up, dig it that far down and all of that. And so Dylan is doing some is some research on how to splice it. And so we're considering splicing it and so that way we don't have to dig it down. But um, I don't know, the verdict's still out on what we're gonna do. It's getting late and it's getting cold. We need to get something done. So I guess we're gonna wrap up the video for now so we can figure out what we need to do. And we will see you next video and we will let you know what we decide. See ya.